All right, we're talking about the Primal Rifle best perks not a week late like the Primal SMG. Stay tuned for that video. Today, we're talking about the Primal Rifle because it just came out to the shop. That's what I'm looking at. This will be going away September 6th, but don't worry. You can actually flux every single one of the Primal weapons now. It's not in the personnel section for some reason, but if you go to the Primal Rifle SMG shotgun for the interest of time, I'm not going to show them all, but trust me, you can flux them if you don't want to spend your gold or if you're coming out of season. They are not event weapons. They are just base game items that are are available now i don't know if they're in llamas or anything but you can flux them which is super cool if you're looking for a certain six perk and you have a lot of flux that you want to like like legendary flux you want to save a purple flux you want to spend you can do this because trust me the six perks will come into play they are a lot more interesting than i originally hoped so Let's talk about the Primal Rifle pros and cons. You're going to be seeing gameplay now. This weapon is really strong, like impossibly strong. Like I'm going to be linking a separate video on the topic down below. You can see I made a video about how it's doing like impossible amount of damage. There is a lot of math on this subject. Nuts and Bolts is one of my resident nerdy viewers, and he did a whole write up on what's going on. And it's super, super strange. If you don't want to read all of that, I don't blame you nobody enjoys that much math unless you're a nerd like him and me <laughs> but but basically the weapon is doing more than triple what it's supposed to be doing on like the first shot i did not have this happening any other time but basically this weapon hits super hard on the first shot and it actually crits really hard after that it's a really really strong ar but it's slow firing which is why you might want the frenzy perk we'll get to that but it's also really inaccurate so it's a slow firing inaccurate hard hitting ar so it's kind of weird to use you have to use it super close range it does have first shot accuracy i guess if you need that but basically you want to get up close and personal with the enemies that you're trying to take out aim for the head if you can and uh, spray and pray and hope it hits its shots so if you're trying to maximize the usefulness of this weapon let's talk about the element first these weapons are locked to nature on release as far as we're aware epic might change the perks in the future there was a reddit post from freight train when the uh, community came out and outcry in fact i'm gonna flashbang you guys in a second here because this is on light mode but the timeline which i'll link down below says that this season is currently a fire season on launch so yeah epic released nature weapons during a fire season nobody's happy about it in fact i had to record all my gameplay and deliver the bomb which sucked but next season and in the future whenever you're watching this you might have better elements or maybe the weapon itself might have all the elements but as of now it's locked to nature i'm not going to worry about that because it might change these are the perks that i was using when i last last played with it so i actually kind of recommend this for a totally rocking out build double crit damage you will be completely reliant on totally rocking out as of today that i'm recording this video and as of this video going live totally rocking out is no longer bugged for those of you who are watching this in the future you might never have had to worry about this totally rocking out went through a phase where the perk would not reactivate until the full eight seconds had gone down so that meant that sometimes it just wouldn't reactivate even after those eight seconds were up and it wouldn't visually activate even though it was active i don't know the whole perk was not performing as well as it should but they fix that as it is like the most popular team perk in the game and when you have this active it'll give you enough crit rating to make double crit damage work the reason that i'm suggesting this and i've basically never opened with this in any best perks ever is because of this weapon's low fire rate and low accuracy you need to make your hits count and when you have such an insane crit damage it actually makes sense now if you're trying to be a bit more practical and you don't want to be completely reliant on totally rocking out being active i completely understand not everybody even has the team perk you can absolutely go crit rating crit damage that is the most standard way to run this that's the same thing almost everybody's going to recommend you but i'm signing off on it because that will be a lot more consistent in the pistol video i'll link to that down below i recommend a double headshot but this weapon's just not accurate enough for that you cannot consistently hit double headshot hey if you're insanely good at the game you can make it work go crazy have some fun run crit damage double headshot for all i care have a great time but i, I can't really suggest that so crit rating crit damage is the standard set for that and then there's a bit of a variance here so i like the reload perk granted 1.4 seconds is really fast you might be able to get away with double miss monsters and bosses 2.5 seconds is pretty brutal so you i really suggest the reload perk for a more rounded out build if you want to maximize your damage double crit damage or crit crit damage and then double to miss monsters and bosses is going to do a crap load of damage you will annihilate blasters and smashers this will be a miss monster slayer it is super strong it will struggle against crowds there is no perk set up in the entire game that will save this weapon from hordes of enemies you are going to want a secondary like the maverick 
Quick or the Big Shot or the Pulsar 9000 or the Xenon Bow. There are a few options in the game that are good crowd clearing weapons that don't really need a loadout. And that is something I suggest as a secondary because this weapon will basically be taking out higher level targets. That's something like the Xenon Bow struggles against. A lot of people don't realize this, but the Xenon Bow, most popular weapon of the game, is actually really low single target damage. It's not good against the Smasher. So this weapon can be a great alternative as a secondary. I'm going to stick with Reload though. That is my recommended perk setup. And uh, yes, I do farm all this reperk just so that you guys can uh, get taken care of while I make these videos. So moving on, double crit damage, crit rating crit damage are the two that I recommend. Headshots, not so recommended. Double miss monsters might be good. And then the fifth perk is pretty much only damage to miss monsters to bosses. You can't actually run Affliction on this weapon, which is pretty brutal. You can't run Slowed and Snared on this. And you might stun and stagger enemies, but you might as well just do the extra damage up front. I think damage to miss monsters to the bosses is the only fifth perk that can really make sense. But like I've alluded to several times, these six perks are where things get interesting. Now, initially when these weapons came out for the shock of the pistol, linked all those best perks will be down below, of course. The extra 30% damage to brand new targets that are above 85% health is really strong. Now, that doesn't do as much for like the SMG, which is a low single target weapon, but the primal rifle. I know it says 18k while I'm solo, and that's not that high, but as mentioned with that video I showed earlier on, this weapon can open with like over a million damage for some reason. And then when it's critting even after that, you're doing like 300k. So 30% on top of that is super nice, but the frenzy perk is a little confusing. So let me explain it. First and foremost, eliminating five enemies or a miss monster activates frenzy. What frenzy does is it gives you and your tamed pet. So like a wolf or a raptor or whatever, a 25. Uh, can you tame a raptor? I know you can ride them, whatever, wolf, boar, whatever you got. They'll be getting a 25% movement speed bonus along as you will be running around faster, which is great. But then it ups your attack speed for five seconds. That's what confused everybody. So attack speed in this instance actually refers to a melee weapon and your primary weapon. In game, the number will not update to show that your fire rate is increased, but if you're using this weapon, you can see it very clearly. The fire rate is increased by the frenzy perk. Now, you might recall, if you've been paying attention, one of the drawbacks of this weapon is its low fire rate. So frenzy is actually highly recommended by me. Now, which one you use is up to you. So the, the, the alternative is basically miss monster gives you 12 seconds and then five enemies gives you five seconds. So if you're spraying into a crowd of enemies, which this weapon struggles with, the frenzy perk will help with the crowd crowd clearing. I did intentionally earlier say that no perk setup will save this weapon, and that's true. Shooting faster will absolutely help versus crowds. It'll help you towards using this weapon as your primary without needing a secondary, but having to eliminate five enemies could be a little tough, but this weapon basically one shots most babies. So I don't know. I don't know. Five seconds is less than 12, but miss monsters are more scarce. It's a pretty balanced option. I like miss monsters because it's a lot more consistent, but you could use the five enemies, eliminate five basic enemies, then use that extra fire rate to eliminate the miss monster even faster. If you could use both, that'd be great. But unfortunately, we're not that spoiled. So both of these are really good options for the AR. Now, I'm not going to discard the 30% damage bonus because that 30% up front can go along way. I don't know if it's as consistent though. You know, you might not crit on that first shot. You might miss a headshot. Your teammates or traps might have started on a target and you might never get the opportunity to do that extra 30% up front. So I think the frenzy perk is a lot more consistent and goes a lot further with this weapon because you could either get 30% damage on basically one shot because this weapon hits hard enough to bring him under that 15 or you can get movement speed and weapon fire rate bonus for a while. And I think frenzy is the way to go. Which one you choose is really up to your play style. You want a miss monster or a group of enemies, that's up to you. Now, I glossed over the attack speed part of this for a good reason. This weapon, uh, all frenzy weapons, when you switch off of the weapon, the frenzy perk goes away. So it's not currently possible as of recording and release to take advantage of that melee attack speed bonus. But theoretically, in the future, when it is working, hopefully, <laughs> if you want to take advantage of that melee attack speed, I'm going to link the best melees video down below because your play style will curate which melees you want to use. But the Ravager, Stormblade for the crit hits cause an explosion, Vacuum Tube Sword if you're in a water or nature season. Seriously, in a nature zone, this chain lightning will do just fine. I know my overlay is kind of covering it, so I can switch for this part. Uh, you could use whatever melees enjoyable. The Clax is unironically very strong. There are a lot of amazing melees in the game, so that best melees video will cover that more thoroughly, but you could switch off to one of these and actually handle the crowds of enemies very easily. In fact, you could activate Frenzy with a Miss Monster, because most melees might struggle against that single target. Then you could use that Frenzy perk to switch to your melee, then eliminate the crowd of enemies in front of you, and ideally in the future, we would have like a primal melee that can reactivate Frenzy from like the enemy kills, and then you could switch back to your AR to take out the Miss Monster, which would reactivate Frenzy 
frenzy to go back to the melee that'd be such a cool combo it'd be very similar to the jack's revenge and corsair i don't know how that's gonna work though so uh unfortunately it's just theory crafting and then this is like a really basic luna build i was using the clax on stream with this i'm gonna link my best ninja loadouts video down below as well if this is working in the future and you want to give it a go or if you just really enjoy melees that'll show you the best melee loadouts uh for ninjas because ninjas are basically melee focused so that's kind of what i covered there thank you guys so much for watching check out these recommended videos at the end in a second here i, I hope you guys got your weapons set up and you're and you're having fun i'll see you in the next video subscribe for more and uh thanks for watching <laughs> And then...